Now another is renting of immovable property. Though in renting of immovable property, there is no clarification in this month. It has been brought in July, 18 July 2017, but it going to impact many of the SSE. That's why we are, have taken in this session this topic. Now, renting of immovable property is two part. First is a commercial letting of immovable property, which we all know is taxable, GST at the rate of 18% livable, and it is under forward charge mechanism. Forward charge mechanism means where the supplier will charge GST, collect it from the receiver, tenant, and pay it to the government. Another one is renting of residential dwelling. Now, renting of residential dwelling it was exempted. I'm saying was exempted because now it has become taxable, not only taxable, but under reverse charge mechanism. So commercial property is a taxable under forward charge, no problem. Now coming to the residential unit where they have said that it is now taxable and under RCM, but it is not taxable in each and every circumstance and it is not covered under reverse charge in each and every circumstance. It is taxable when it is provided to a registered person. So when a, any person, when supplier is registered or not, it is not the concern. We have to see whether the recipient is registered or not. If recipient is registered, that reverse charge mechanism is applicable and recipient is liable to pay tax on it. Now, the exemption which has been provided is only when residential dwelling is used for residence. So if residential dwelling is used for residence, then it is exempted. If residential dwelling is used for commercial, it is taxable and under reverse charge mechanism. So now everybody have to be very much precaution. If you are paying rent to your landlord, see whether it's a commercial property, no problem. Landlord will be collecting GST and will be depositing it to the government. But if it is a residential dwelling and you are a registered person having a commercial property over there, means using for commercial purpose, get ready. You have to discharge GST on the same under reverse charge mechanism. So now all of you who are having the property, having their place of business at a place where your landlord is not charging GST, See that whether that property is registered with municipality as residential or commercial. If it is a residential property, commercial property used for commercial, then there is a no question of RCM. But if the property is registered as residential and being used as a commercial, then RCM is applicable. So now all of you need to be careful with the expenditure under the head renting of immovable property. We have summarized when the GST will be applicable on renting of residential dwelling and under RCM. This is the summary which we have made for your easy reference that whenever you see renting of immovable property expenditure, look for this cross check and accordingly determine whether you are liable to pay under RCM, yes or no. Sir, you want to add something?